Alright, good morning everybody. Welcome to Race Spec Esports Classic Car Series. This is a new series that was supposed to start last Saturday, but was delayed, so we're uh, here today for round one. Going through the full 21 race calendar, it looks like, so it's going to be interesting. Haven't driven these classic cars before at all, really, so it'll uh, certainly be a bit of a test, but we'll... Uh, We'll go see what we can do. Hope everybody's well today. Um, I am on my own at the moment. So I'm sure if you've tuned into any of my previous streams, you probably would have heard some voices in the background. That would be my family sitting here with me. No one's here today, so I'm all on my lonesome. So you'll probably hear a bit more talking than usual. But uh, yeah, we'll get into it. Hope for a good one. And uh, hopefully I don't screw up too much. But um yeah, let's uh, get into it. So, short qualifying, dry, oh no, heavy rain, oh no, alright, I'm going to die. <laughs> oh, my god, um, okay, uh, I think setups are fixed, aren't they? Yes, they are, alright. Just something else to add to the test, I think, really for us, but, um, yeah, this is going to be very, very interesting. It's uh, not something... As I said, that I normally do. I've never done this before. So, without further ado, let's go out. And let's just hear this baby fire up for a second. Checks complete. We're ready. Man, don't you just miss that noise from the uh, 2010 cars? Sounds really, really nice. Anything's better than the V6s, I've got to admit. But, you know, it's, uh, it's nice. There goes the old Braun GP 2009. Absolutely mint car that, absolutely loved it. Yeah, it's good to be in a uh, F2 series there, um, Roscoe, it's certainly a little bit different. Following Apex F1 out of the pits, looks like he's in the Braun. We are in the McLaren, there's four or five drivers uh, allocated to the four different classic cars in this little uh, time frame, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. So. Be interesting to see how we go. Um, as I said, I've done probably the better part of five laps in total in this car, and they were all done uh, probably about midday yesterday, and they were absolutely terrible. So, yeah, it'll be interesting just to see what we can do. Apex lets us go there, which is nice. I was kind of hoping you'd do that. So, it's, um, yeah, this is going to be going to be interesting, especially with heavy rain at the start of the race. I am expecting some sort of chaos to ensure, because that's normally what happens. But, um, yeah, how good does this McLaren look? And there's the old, there's the old F-duct. I don't think we can activate that to gain an extra six, is it six kilometres down the straight? I think that's how the F-duct used to work back in 2010. Short-term memory loss, so I can't remember that far back, so don't hurt me for that. But anyway... <laughs> So it looks like we're about to come around and start our first flying lap. Hopefully this is decent. Again, we're all on fixed setup, so no one's really got a setup advantage. So basically it all comes down to the driver. So let's go and see what we can do. And into turn 100 meter board hard on the brakes. Probably definitely go a bit later on the brakes there. You definitely feel the understeer in this car already, just pushing through turn one. Your left leg's up ahead, hopefully that's just a couple of cars going slow. And we'll get out of the way in all due course. Bit of oversteer on the brakes there. Looks like a Ferrari. Gets out of the way nicely, thank you very much. Coming through to the end of the first sector, this has been a reasonable first sector. It's been nothing special. 27.9, not too bad, running a little bit wide there. Thankfully we don't get an invalidation. I think we did lose a bit of time. So, hopefully that's why it got let go. Really, really touchy as well, these cars, not going to lie. Um, I only have been pushing for half a lap, and I can already tell these are really, really touchy on the controls, especially on a pad. Um, I do get asked that a lot, so once again, I'm going to clarify, I'm a pad user. I am not a wheel user. So, you can... Um, Oh god, that's okay. That's one of my teammates. He's binned it. I don't know how you end up facing the wrong way there, but 
Anyway, everyone adjusting to these cars, and obviously some people may be struggling a little bit more than some others, but 24.5 is a provisional pole time. We come across the line, and we go P2 on a 24.6. Not too bad. Um, didn't feel too great, not going to lie, but it's, uh, you know, it's all right. Our first run, really, in these uh, classic cars, so I'll definitely take that. Couple of reasonably quick guys in here. I think John Polinen's in here somewhere. Um, he is one of our teammates in the McLaren. Uh, I don't know if he actually joined in time to start qualifying. He should be here for the race. Whether he'll join in time, whether he joined in time for qualifying rather, uh, I'm not sure because I didn't actually go through and uh, look at the list. I was kind of daydreaming a little bit. So yeah, <laughs> that's um, yeah, that's not quite right. But anyway. Still P2 for the moment, so that's all right. Really just hoping for a clean race. One lap of fuel remaining. Oh, shut up, Jeff. Nobody loves you. And, um, yeah, just... Let's just hope for a clean start of the season. Obviously, a long way to go. I'm pretty sure this is a full 20-run race calendar all the way through to Abu Dhabi, so it's going to be interesting, especially with fixed setups at some tracks like Monaco and stuff like that. Definitely be interesting to see how we go and where certain people end up but we'll come back into the pits now this has been a pretty decent opening account on the 24.6 trying to see if we knock it back to 60 k's there not too bad and uh yeah so far so good so we'll come back in and chill for a little bit maybe go out again and uh yeah we'll go and see what we can do a couple of red bulls going out there but I think we've got, we've probably got something like 12 minutes or something remaining, so might go for two runs maybe, just depending. But um, yeah, as I said at the start of the stream, hope everybody is well on this beautiful and frankly quite chilly Saturday morning where I am. It's uh, sure as hell not very warm in here, so yeah, it's a bit fresh. Looks like we've got a brawn in front of us. I don't know why I'd be sharing a garage slot with a brawn. I hope that's not the case, because that's going to look and feel really odd. But anyway, <laughs> uh, we won't worry about that too much. But, um, yeah, it looks like we got a couple of cars so out there right now. We've got Alfu out 6. there in the Ferrari. Yeah, I don't think that's actually how it's pronounced, so my apologies once again there. I am absolutely hopeless with pronunciation, so I apologise for that. Looks like he's out there on an outlap. Anyone on a flying lap? It doesn't look like it. Uh, Banana Josh on a flying lap. We'll go on board with the Ferrari driver. Coming through in the middle sector now. Red Bull just up ahead. Probably on an outlap if I had to guess. So hopefully he should hop out of the road in uh, all due course once Josh gets there. But uh, while I have this short break, I do want to say thank you guys for the support. Uh, on the channel already at 121 subscribers absolutely mental to be honest um i didn't even expect to be at 100 by the end of december we're not even in december yet and we're already past 120 so yeah thank you so much it is really appreciated and um yeah just unbelievable but josh looks like he's back there this lap maybe made a mistake uh yeah he made a mistake in the first sector 46.9 that's uh that's terrible for a first sector so that's uh he's obviously bottled it somewhere and he's bringing it into the pit lane now very close he takes out the <laughs> um pit marker board there so that's kind of interesting that's a bit funny to look at but anyway it looks like we got apex f1 out there in the brawn on an outlap but um yeah so far pretty decent i think are we still in p2 or have we been knocked down no we're still in p2 a tenth behind the turkish driver We've got about half a second over the rest of the field at the moment, so it's uh, it's all right. We're uh, we're looking good. We're looking good. Obviously, heavy rain at the start of the race. That's going to make things interesting, but hopefully we can survive and have a good one. But We're as I said, the speed uh, trap, again, kilometers per hour. shut up, Jesus, annoying engineer. But anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, don't, don't you just love it? It just cuts in and just tells you stuff that you don't want to know, you don't care. And, uh, but anyway. We, uh, we won't worry about that. But, uh, yeah.
Sorry about that guys, just had to deal with a quick little private message there. But uh, yeah, this is definitely something a bit different. I'm, um, that first run was definitely an eye opener, I'm not going to lie. These cars are very different in the way they handle, so we'll, uh, yeah, we'll try and make the best of it. Eight minutes now, I think we'll go out again for a second run um, and see what we can do. So let's get out there. Everyone clear. Car to track. Alright, there we go, take number two. Change the brakes around a little bit, maybe to there. Couple of people on a hot lap, I'd say, or just finishing one. Make sure we get out of the way of everyone. Someone coming up behind us. I really miss the sound of these cars. Plevs jumps up into P2. I uh, didn't see that. Uh, I think he's actually in the McLaren as well, so he's one of our teammates. Uh, probably go jump in a chat with him actually for the race, so there uh, probably won't be as much yip yap as there is right now, so you won't have to listen to me prattle on as much. So if I've driven you up the wall already, I apologise, but uh, you know what? You better get used to it if you're hanging around here. So <laughs> anyway, um, seven minutes left in the session. We got someone behind us. I can't really tell if they're on a hot lap or not. They're not really gaining on us, so... And they are way behind us as well. So, we'll, uh... I think we'll keep going. Yellow flags up ahead. Looks like there's a bit of a queue forming here in this final sector. So we're going to have to watch out for this a little bit. Hopefully we don't get too much dirty air or anything coming off. The car's in front. We'll back up just a little bit. Let's go. Traction in these cars I notice as well in like the first and second gear is not very kind, it's not very friendly at all, but I believe we go for a second hot lap of the session, so hopefully we can make it a good one. You left legs out of us momentarily. I think someone's had an off or made a mistake. Bit of a queue in front of us. Hopefully these guys get out of the way. Caught off guard there a little bit by that McLaren, but he did... Oh, well, that wasn't a McLaren, that was a Braun. Oh, God, scruffy we couple of corners, we're in the wall. Remaining. Yeah, I got all the other sorts, and I was distracted by, like, wing. four cars in It'll front of me. And, uh, yeah, Chucky retires from the session, might have crashed somewhere. But, um, yeah, that was really awkward. There was, like, four cars all in front of us. I'm sure they would have tried to get out of the way, obviously. I don't hold that against anyone, but, um... Yeah, that was really, really awkward. I don't know if, like, two of them were on a hot lap and the other one was trying to get out of the way or not, but that was, uh, yeah, that was very awkward. Uh, Red Bull in the gravel, I think that was, so that's a bit different, but anyway. So let's put pay to this run. We got front wing damage, so we can't really go again, so we're going to have to come back in now, get this repaired, put on a fresh set of boots, and, uh, Try again. We'll try and position ourselves a bit better next time as well, because I definitely don't think we did a real good job that time. We probably could have backed up, gone a bit slower, and probably put ourselves in a bit better position uh, in terms of track position. But uh, you know what? It's um, it's alright. It's not too bad. So that was the second run, a fairly bottled run. Not going to lie, <laughs> we yeah. But uh, hey, you know what? Shit happens, as they say. We'll uh, we we'll go out again and um, hope for the best. But as I said, probably what a hundredth time I've said this now in the past ten minutes. But hope everybody's well. Hope you're enjoying your day. And uh, speak of the devil, jump along and has joined just in time for the race. So we will have another teammate for the race, thankfully. So we will have a little bit of backup in terms of John Plevs and I think Gaming King as well, who let us go. Uh, in the middle part of that lap as well, so yeah, we've got our full lineup here at McLaren. So far, our fastest lap is a one minute twenty. Uh, you get sick of listening to the man, don't you? Just really, really annoying. But anyway, <laughs> three minutes fifty left in the session. 
so we'll chill here for a little bit. Uh, I don't want to leave it right till the death. Two minutes 48 probably, so we might go out now actually. Because that way, if I stop up the first ready? lap, Let's I go. might have time to go again. And there's a few people actually going out for an outlap now, so... I don't really know how this is going to work. Whether it could work with us, against us. But we'll find out, and it looks like basically everybody is out on the track. There's like three cars in the garage now, so... Basically everybody is heading out there for our final stab at qualifying to try and park our cars near the front. So far, I think Ferrari on pole position, then a McLaren 2-3. So hopefully one of us two McLaren rat bags can try and nick that pole position. But we'll, we'll see what we can do. Now I want to try and put myself in a position where I've got a lot of clean air and I don't have to worry about cars behind. It's going to be a little bit awkward. Yellow flag just up here. Someone going very slow it looks like. Where uh, they looks like Banana Josh. He ups out of the way. All nice, fine and dandy there. I've got to admit this is actually pretty cool to drive these cars, not going to lie. It's something that I don't normally do. And um, as I said, until yesterday I barely touched the classic cars at all. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a bit different. I was also a reserve driver in uh, the F2 series uh, season opener on the Race Spec Esports channel. That was hosted, or the race finished literally probably about 20-25 minutes ago, so if you guys haven't seen that, I recommend you go check that out. We were 6 in the first race, and we won the sprint race, so that was pretty good, but... Won't worry about that, we got a job to do here, so let's go and see what we can do, shall we? Pretty good run through turn one. Plevs 24 0. Very good time there from our teammate. Looks like we got a teammate in front of us. There's a brawn as well. So we're encountering a little bit of traffic again. They're all getting out of the way fairly nicely. Four tenths up so far. Purple in sector one. This has been a one good lap remaining. so far. Just one minute. Still yellow flags. I think there's a car that's up ahead that was going fairly slow. Run up here further. Hopefully these two get out of the way and don't hold us up. This is going to be in an awkward spot if they try and pull it over. Oh, they did that fairly well. I'll give credit where it's due. We definitely could have run through that S section a bit better. We've lost about half a tenth. So we're really going to have to attack this final sector and find some kind of time if we want to take pole position. Through the final couple of corners now. Through the final corner. I don't think this is going to be enough. Hopefully this might put us on the front row. It's not going to be pole position, but do we get on the front row? No! It's only P3. So, the top three drivers very, very close together. As Plevs improves again to a 23. Now, now, now the man's just rubbing it in. Come on. Jeez, that's mental pace, but... Okay, so... That's qualifying, guys, for the first round of the Race Spec Esport Classic Car Series here on PS4. Looks like we're going to end up in P3. Not too bad. Could definitely do better. So we'll retire from the session now. Looks like everybody is doing exactly that. So, yeah, pretty decent qualifying run. We've got a couple of people still on a hot lap. And look how close that is between the top three drivers. Less than a tenth in it. And we lost half a tenth in that S section. So if we had have nailed that S section, we would have been on pole position. So that just shows how tight it is at the top. And I think there's, uh, yeah, it's pretty close between the top four, actually. 24-2. Uh, so pretty close. We're on board with the brawn of Flogglewoggles, I think. Hopefully that's how it's pronounced. In P5, currently on a 24.9. He comes up the line. Is he going to improve and get himself in the top four? No. Improves to a 
but not enough to get himself onto the front two rows of the grid. I think that's qualifying done and dusted. So it looks like we're going to be P3 with our teammate players on pole position. So congrats to him on a 23.9. I don't know where he pulled that lap from, honestly, but um, yeah, that was pretty damn impressive. I don't think any of us have really practiced, and obviously with lock setups as well, make things all the more tricky and all the more difficult. So yeah, it's going to be going to be interesting. Obviously, heavy rain is scheduled for the race as well. So it's uh, yeah, this is this is going to be a very interesting season opener. So hopefully we can avoid the carnage, get a good start to the race, and um, just open the season on the right note with maybe a podium, but just a solid haul of points would be really good just to start things off on the right foot, and hopefully we can build momentum off that. But there's a provisional results from qualifying plebs. In the McLaren on pole position with Alfu again. I don't think that's how it's pronounced, but that's just how I'm going to say it. So apologies if that's wrong. In P2 in the Ferrari, SL's P3. Then we have Ferrari, two Brawns, Red Bull, Ferrari. Then our other teammate of Gaming King down in P9. Chucky rounds out the top 10 in the McLaren. Then we have Banana Josh, who's got a five place grid penalty for some reason. I don't know what that's for. And we got the rest of the field Red Bull, Braun, Red Bull. And I think it goes down a bit further than that. Yes, it does, Red Bull. Then McLaren, Braun, and Red Bull running out the field. So that's qualifying, guys. Done and dusted. So let's go to the race. I am actually going to go and jump in a party chat right now with my crewman. So we'll uh, go and do that real quick. But, uh, yeah, enjoy the race, fellas. And I will speak to you again uh, mono to mono, I suppose, when it's over. G'day mate. Yeah, good yourself. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Heavy rain for the race. Looks like we can go straight to the end. This is gonna be interesting. Gonna underfuel the car by about a lap and a half. Hopefully that's not too bad. Wheel spin off the line, Jesus yeah, Christ! Yeah, is good, but we need to learn the gears, so go into each one when you can. We're going to need some work on the brakes, so put some energy into them, and warm the tyres as well, please. Oh my god. I think there's going to be a couple of problems on this race start. <laughs> Number one, you cannot see in front. And there is literally no traction. I'm trying to get back up to where I'm supposed to be. Oh my god. There's literally no grip on turning either. I think there's a brawn falling off the road. I think now I'm back where I'm supposed to be. Yes, I am. Is it supposed to be like this all race? I can't remember. I looked at the weather thing, but... I think it is supposed to dry up at the end. Go. 
Oops. <laughs> The start sequence will begin as soon as the grid has formed. Right. Good luck, buddy. If traction on that formation lap was any indication, I am going nowhere off this start line. Mm. Definitely. Alright, everybody's ready. Let's go. Mental note, low revs does not work. Absolutely mugged off the line. Already back down into six. I didn't even try and move up the field at the moment. I can't see. Oh god, traction. Help me out. Oh, I don't want to go around the outside. It's deadly. Back up to P12, there's a big queue of cars right here that I can't not see through. Oh Jesus! Someone's off. Oh, I think I've just been hit. Oh my goodness! We were looking for, but it's not over yet. Stay Gaming focused. King, just come back across the track, he spun out. Caution, caution. Oh, Apex has spun out. Someone else is in the wall somewhere. We can't see though, that's the problem! Uh, no I don't, I'm clean. I backed off! I backed off because like the track was blocked, there was like three cars going side by side, so I thought no, I'm not, I'm not hanging around for this. Yeah, that's right, I haven't got any damage, so you're right. Let me change into a different camera angle real quick so I can see. Okay, clear. Oh, there goes John. He's completely fallen off the road. Crap, crap. Save it, save it, save it, save it. Oh, my goodness. What is traction on in this car? Hey, you and me both. We should have hurry up and dry up. This is nightmare. Oh, my God. Doesn't stop, doesn't turn, doesn't do anything good. Oh, McLaren lost it. Oh my god, now I'm in the grass. You've moved up to P12. Yellow flag. Yeah, he's, ju he's just ahead of me now, apparently, P11. Fastest lap, 42.9. Definitely not beating that since I was facing the wrong way. We're very low on fuel. Tried to shift up through the gears earlier. It may help save more fuel. Oh, yeah. I'm P12 coming up behind. Oh, God. Coming up behind a disconnected car. Banana Josh is in the pits. That's P11. Oh, 
Oh god. It's falling off the racetrack. Jesus, traction! I'm running in the lean and standard in the corners and short shifting and this thing will not grip. John up in ninth. Oh, yeah, that's right. I spun out. Let's back up to P9. I think I'm starting to figure out how to drive these things. Oh, crap. That's a bit wide. Traction's not too bad on the straights, like in fourth gear. But in the corner, if you try and put your foot down, it's just... It's just lethal. It's deadly. Oh, God. What's this lap going to be? Anything near the fastest lap? Okay, 43.2. Saving some fuel. Lower the fuel mix and go easy on the throttle. I think the fastest lap's a 42.8. I just did a Purple in sector one. And I still run off the road. I welcome light rain and then drying conditions now. Oh god, oh god, oversteer. 42.8, alright. Oh my god, the understeer, turn you little shit. Oh god. Soon. We're seeing light rain in around two minutes. Light rain in about two minutes, according to my engineer. I lost like six tenths in that final sector somewhere on that lap, apparently. They're getting quicker and quicker. Oh, God, I reckon Alfu lost it or something. 
Okay, the incident has been cleared. Let's get back up to racing speed. Well, that's more like it. Finally starting to find some grip and some pace. Short shifting like mad in some corners. Oh god. That's a message okay, in the live chat. Fuel. I'll look down Try in a sec. Can't a see. Sooner. This should help us save some fuel. Oh crap. Yeah, nice. There it is, there it is a little bit, you can just see it in certain parts. Oh, I'll, I'll try not to crash Tyler, don't worry. Probably just hang around and wait and see if I do. Coming out behind a Red Bull for P6. Yep. Oh, and he's thrown it off the road. Oh, squeeze dive up the inside. That was cool. I'm back up the P6, so. I oh, know, made that P5, someone just pitted, I think. Cancers right now, this is unreal. Oh crap. We have wheel spin and sliding in sixth gear. How is that even humanly possible? Oop, banana Josh crash. Oop! Ah shit. I'm in the wall. With the front wing, you've taken some minor damage. Okay, gap ahead is 7.6 seconds. I got a kind of yellow orangish front wing on one side. No, it doesn't feel too bad. Yeah, I think I might stick it out to be honest. Just a stupid mistake on the gas too hard, and rear end just stepped out, couldn't catch it. Actually feels a bit nicer with this damage, not joking, because now it like hasn't got as much front steer and I don't know how this works, but stay off the yellow line. so gentle on these controller movements and stuff. This car with damage seriously actually doesn't feel that bad. Barely feels any different. I'm still pulling away. No, oh, anything could happen. Long way to go yet. Not even a lap nine yet.
Our gap in the yeah, purple in the final sector. The Getting a lot of oversteer though, so maybe with the damage actually helps going to tame that a little bit. To shift up through the gears earlier. They think it'll save fuel. If it rained for the rest of the race, I'd probably actually not bother fixing it, to be honest. Front is 5.4. Did you say no? Leave it. Car actually feels nice in there, little knock the body work off. Uh, last time I checked, he was in P9. P5, I got a Red Bull behind me, so he must be P7. Because he is behind me. So basically, all of us have fallen off the track at some point, I think. The track's definitely drying out. I've got mine down to minus 0.7 of a lap, basically. I'm running in lean for an awful lot of a lap, though, like, trying to just control this damn wheel spin. No, I started with minus one and a half, I think. Oh, yeah, so you're saving a bit. I think I'm actually gaining on these leaders. Like, I know. Oh, there's Josh facing the wrong way in pit entry. I'm definitely gaining on the guy in front, but I don't know about the rest of them in the top three. I don't know where they are exactly. Green flag. I presume that's them maybe just up the road. Funny how it goes from two minutes then to seven. Caution, caution. Someone just spun out, Aussie, um, Sus however that's pronounced. Yeah, I just passed him, I'm up the fourth now, he spun out in that left right section. Oh no, oh I'm in the wall. That's even more damage. It's alright, the cast.
probably coming to cause a safety car to squash the race up. Okay, you're catching the car ahead, but remember we need to get to the end of the race on these tyres. My engineer just told me, be careful, you need to get to the end of the race on these tyres. Ooh, crap, that's too late on the brakes, and I'm in the gravel. That's going to cost me a bit of time to... third place. Oh my god, now it literally does not want to turn at all. Make sure I short shift this time going through there. Yeah, that would be. I'm still Welcome hanging in there for the fight for P3. Seconds. I'm about three seconds behind him at the moment. I'm gaining a little bit. There's Someone's yellow flags here somewhere. There's a yellow flag ahead. Caution. Caution. Okay, clear. Yep, there's one going. Fairly half race distance now. Going on. Not quite. This race is going on forever. Start losing some tire grip around now. Oh my god. Oh shit. I think it's starting to dry out now, looking at it. Yeah, no blue sky, but still doesn't look very friendly. Yeah, it must be drying out. I've just gone purple to the middle sector, but literally a half a busted wing, and the tires are starting to fade as well. Tell me, tell me. 
Okay, I think the track will be drying out quite soon. Mind you, don't burn out your tyres. Track will be drying quite soon, according to my engineer. No. He's on the move a bit, 40.6, that's nothing too shabby. But, oh, Tommy nearly lost it in third. Around the outside. Great maneuver. You made it look easy. Job done. P3, next up, Chucky. Gap ahead is 1.6 seconds. I don't know how I'm doing this with half a busted front wing, but... Check your MFD for a new strategy option. My Copy. engineer's given me a strategy change of dry tyres. Yeah. No way, the track still drives. I think at the end of this lap at the earliest. out traction Chucky that's not gonna work not when he's in a red bull oh, up the inside oh nice nice overtake a new strategy is available on the MFD who is the leader 40 seconds up the road jeez he's doing what I normally do Yeah, <laughs> gives me a challenge for once. Another strategy change for dry tyres. Pit in this lap, and remember the speed limit. We'll be penalised if we exceed it. I think it is dry. As you approach. Is it worth it yet or not? Uh, I don't know. This lap, next one. Uh, um, screw it. I'm gonna go next one. Yep. Chucky stayed out with me. Definitely time then. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. There's literally no spray on my screen anymore. Track is, track is dried out. Time to come in. Got that confirmed. Yeah, we're losing time on our, on my delta all the way around the lap and I'm still pushing and we're just going slower. Yep, time to come in. Oh, I'm not going to have a bloody front wing change as well, shit. That's going to knock me back a bit.
They all mean. How do I just get a warning for corner cutting? I'm in the pit lane. Go, go, go. <laughs> that was our last stop. No 31 six. Definitely time for drivers. Oh god. I just cut the first corner because I didn't expect to have that much grip. Still in P3 somehow. At least they fixed me wing. Ah, time penalty for that last incident. That's a three second. Caution, caution. Another warning, caution, Jesus. Caution, yellow flags ahead. No overtaking through the caution zone. Be careful until you see the greens. Okay, clear. Hmm. Tommy jump. Oh, he must have come in last lap. You need to slow no, down before hitting the corners. We don't want to get a penalty. I don't want to get a bloody penalty either, but this shit's difficult to get a hang of. Using his nose, ghosted brawn. is 3.2 seconds. The gap behind us is 4.8 seconds. Fastest lap by what I presume is still the race leader. Oh my god, another we three second. Are you fucking serious? We'll go against our finishing time at the end of the race. I have no idea. Of course I just set the fastest lap because because I got a penalty it didn't count. Just made a move on Tommy, that's up into position two. Forty seconds to the race leader. Holy crap. He's gone. Keep 
no, I think he is, but he, yeah, he's a lap down. Yeah, he is, I can see him just a couple of corners up the road. Certainly not what you'd expect from someone who started second. Just shows how crazy these races can be. Oh, Alpha lost it. Green flag. Fastest left of the race by the race leader. I don't even know what minor at, I'll check him now. Yeah, minor at 12. Great work. That's a new fastest lap for the race. No, no, I got it fixed. We have five laps of fuel remaining. Yeah, I'm coming up behind two brawns now to, to lap them. <laughs> nice.
I think the top three are so spread out right now. I think it's 38 seconds between the leader and then me. And I don't even know what the gap is between me and third. Oh no, hang on. 19 seconds. Can I operate the F duck? Get like an extra 6 kph down the straight? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, I didn't... I didn't I didn't notice it when I was stuck behind those two brawns a couple of minutes ago. Okay, clear. Oh, I've got the gap down to 38 seconds. <laughs> yeah. But I'm completely on my own. I've got, like, 38 seconds to the leader and, like, 22 seconds or something back to... The You've been awarded a time penalty for that last incident. There's another three seconds, just wonderful. There's a blatant corner cut because I hit the wall. Oh, I've got a phone call. Go away. Don't answer it right now.
Oh my god, I've lost it. That was such a lazy, only stupid little error. Luckily I've got enough time over the guys behind me, so I think I should be alright. <sighs> yeah, I'm still negative just a little bit, so just save a little bit here and should be good. Yeah, <laughs> no, you wouldn't be. You'd be out. This is your final, Ooh, final, final lap of the race. race. Well, secured in P2 at the moment. 17 seconds to third, 45 seconds to the leader. He's probably just about to cross the line now. Oh, and he takes the fastest lap as well, damn it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely it looks like I've got a bit of competition now, so this will be interesting. Ferrari. Yeah. <sighs> Round the final couple of corners. Well, from P3, gonna be P2. I'm pretty happy with that. Good start of the season. <sighs> yeah, I think that I think that's a pretty good drive. Red Bull coming around to take P3. It's all right. You got Chucky your feet away behind you. <laughs> Cross the line in P4 with no fuel left. Chucky home in P5, Tommy P6, John's going to come home for P7, and that's the race done. Well, that was a pretty good race. I just wanted a solid start of the season and got what I wanted, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, well, considering considering my start, I because I I thought I'll try and leave it in a kind of low rev range, try and minimise the wheel spin, and I literally just bogged down. I didn't go anywhere. Very yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, it didn't even get me by a tenth. Crap, that was close. Whew, well, fairly decent season opener, so I can't complain about that. No, he's probably not the best, actually. <laughs> yeah, 
a couple of people there do make extra a few trips to the pit lane, I reckon, but I think that was a pretty decent race. I'm happy with it. Alright, I'm going to hop off now. Got to go do some shit in the real world. <laughs> Radio, see you then. Alright, we're back rolling, everybody. Alright. So that's been the race guys, hope you guys have enjoyed it, a very stressful race, definitely a bit different, not going to lie, but um, you know what, I enjoyed it either way, and uh, to come away with P2, I think that's a pretty decent result, so hopefully we can keep that momentum going, definitely looks like I've got a challenger in that Ferrari, so it would be interesting to see how that goes and whatnot for the rest of the season, but anyway, as I said, that's been today's video, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe, stay tuned for plenty more. And until my next video, which I should hopefully have out maybe Monday, Tuesday at the latest, I'll see you guys next time.